Hey guys, so I'm going to start off by using my strobe cream and I'm just going to massage this into my face. It's going to just give me a nice radiance. Then I'm going to apply the Smashbox primer all over my face and massage this in. It's just going to prime my face ready for application. Then it's time for the face and body. I absolutely love this foundation by MAC. It's so lightweight and it's definitely worth a try if you haven't tried it out yet. to my concealer. I'm just going to conceal my under eye dark circles with the Pro Longwear Concealer. It's a really thick concealer so it's got really good coverage to it and I'm going to apply this just under my eyes creating the V and blending it out. After I've done that, I'm going to use my Studio Finish Concealer in the same shade, but I just find it's a little bit darker around my mouth, and then I'm going to highlight around my eyes, just to brighten them up a little bit, because I like the highlighted look, especially for the evening, it's such a nice look to pull off. And then I'm going to go in with my MAC Eyeshadow in Handwritten. It's a brown, a warm brown, that I'm just going to run through my brows, just to add a little bit more definition and then I'm going to go in with my spoolie and I'm going to brush this out. Then I have my MAC Paint Pot in Rubenesque, it's a gold iridescent kind of cream like consistency, it's beautiful to wear on its own but it also primes the lid before you put eyeshadow on. Now I'm not actually using eyeshadow, well I am using a mix of eyeshadow but I'm going to start off by using my Ruby Woo, which is a MAC lipstick. Yes, it's a lipstick, but I'm going to put it on. It's bright red, and I'm going to put this all over the lid. Then I'm going to take my 217 brush again by MAC, and I'm going to buff the lipstick out just to make it look a little bit softer. I'm also going to buff it all the way and wing it out a little bit, just to bring out, you don't have to do this, you can stay within the crease. And then I'm gonna reapply a little bit more of the Ruby Woo. I'm then gonna take this underneath on my lower lash line. Again, if you wanted it more subtle, you can keep the Ruby Woo just on the lid. But I'm going for more of a dramatic effect and you can see how it makes the greens of your eye stand out a lot more. So this is the look. Then I'm going to go in with Raw, which is a bright orange, a matte orange by MAC. And I'm going to pat this all over the eyelid, just up to the crease. take my 217 brush and I'm going to blend it out and then I'm going to take my Naked Lunch Eyeshadow by MAC and I'm going to use this as a highlighter on my brow bone. I'm then going to take my Collection 2000 Felt Tip Liner. I swear by this liner because it's cheap, affordable and it works a treat especially if you find it difficult to do with eyeliner which I actually do a lot of the time I'm just gonna take it it's like a felt tip so it's just like drawing on the eyes and I'm gonna create a straight wing I don't like the ones that flick up too much towards the brow and that's me creating the flip for you and these are both the flicks together so they're not exactly symmetrical but it doesn't matter and then I'm gonna go in with my in extreme dimension mascara I absolutely swear by this mascara and it's going to add definition and volume. Then I'm going to go in with my MAC Matte Brown Blush. 
which I use as a contour, which is perfect as a contour, just in the hollows of my cheeks and up on my temples. And then we're going to use a Worldly Wealth blush, which has got copper tones in it. And I'm going to use that just as a bronzer. So you can see it here, it's gorgeous and coppery. It was in the new collection. And then I'm going to go in with my highlighter. This is the MAC Mineralize Highlighter by MAC, yeah, of course. Um, it's called Global Glow on the high points of my face just to highlight. I love highlighter. Then I'm just going to nude out my lips with a bit of concealer and we're going to get ready to put a pout paint on. It's in a corally colour but I don't want them to look too much like concealer on my lips. So I'm giving them a little bit of colour but something still natural. Then I'm going to go in with my Fix Plus spray. I love this spray, it's just to finish off, to get rid of the powderiness on my face. And I'm going to spray this all over and then we're done. And that's the look guys. I hope you like it.